All right, so from time to time, you may want to add more people to your uh, analytics account. Um, this could be web developers, this could be a marketer, someone who's managing things and probably updating it for you. And um, many clients I work with, I always, many times I do request access to Google Analytics because uh, when we're setting up PPC campaigns and so forth, I need um, to be able to set up things like goals, events, conversions, and can only do that when I have access to analytics. So this video kind of shows anyone who wants to know how to set, uh, add someone as a user and the different uh, ways that you can add them. Now in GA4, the new Google Analytics, we've got account level, and we've got our property there. And under each property, you can have data streams, which could be your website, your app, and so forth. Now, um, in this case, you know, um, you really have to think about the level of access you want to give. So if you give someone access to, at the account level, it means um, any properties they have, in there, they'll be able to actually see it and report it. Depending on the level of access, they'll be able to access all the different properties in there. And, um, you know, properties basically like maybe your, your, your website app, which you are tracking, which are similar to each other, can come up under one property and you add that in your data streams in there. So uh, you can see we've got our subdomain there and we don't have an app or anything but we can add some if we want and then if you've got something slightly different you can create a different day to stream but we'll come to that so just to that's just to give you an idea of what they have when you give them access at the account level um, you could give them property access at the property level and that only applies to that specific property so in this case we've got 14 properties so you can give them access to one property and not the others. So they won't be able to see the other ones. But if you give them at the account level, they'll see all the properties. So the access levels are generally the same. So if we go to account level, um, we can see three emails or users added there and the roles are editor, administrator, administrator. So if we wanna add a new user, we just click on that and then click add users. And all we do is we enter the email address. Uh, we can notify the new user by email, and that's great. If you give them administrator access, they've got full control of the account, and they can add and remove anyone, and they can make any changes that they want. They could even take control of the account, and you will lose access to it. So be careful with that one. Uh, editor, they can edit all data and settings for the account, but they cannot manage users. They cannot add or remove users. And then you've got marketer, which obviously things like audiences, conversions, they've got access to that and so forth. Uh, this is a GA4 only one. Um, it didn't exist in the universe analytics. Uh, this one analyst is just a viewer role. They can look at dashboards and annotations and viewers just sees report data and configuration settings for account and so forth. So those are the main ones um, that you probably will, will use. So really think about that and um, add them to the account. And then as you add them, you can notify them. And yeah, they get a notification that they've been added to the account and then they'll be able to see it. So fairly straightforward. That's how you add a user to the account there. And as I showed here, this is for the account level. Um, if we wanted, uh, we could, uh, let me go back and close this. Right, so if we wanted, we could go and add someone at the property level. So quite similar, add users, and there we have similar to the account level, but they will only have access to this specific uh, property and not the others. So that's something to know and something to be aware of as you're adding users to your account.